In this video, we're looking at the EEG readings of both myself and Beth as we play music. I'll point out some things that I found noteworthy about the readings, but if you find anything, please leave a comment. I look forward to hearing from you. First, with my numbers, it was apparent that I have higher readings in the frontal area, the AF3 and AF4 sensors, and also in the right brain sensor, T8, it has higher readings as compared to the left brain sensor and the posterior sensor in the back of my head. Now this makes sense because the frontal part of the brain is involved with motor function and emotion. And singing takes an incredible amount of motor function because your body is the instrument. And regardless of whether the best singing technique is being used or not, this is still the brain's best attempt to use the body as a musical instrument. So the brain's attempt at motor skills shows up as increased activity in the frontal area of the brain. Now, about my readings being predominantly right-brained as opposed to left-brained, emotion and the brain's attempt to be artistic and musical is said to show up as increased activity on the right side of the brain. However, as I'll discuss later, Beth doesn't seem to be predominantly right-brained as she's playing the drums. I also notice that when I'm not singing, and I'm only playing the keyboard, my readings are much lower. When I'm singing, all my readings go higher, including my high beta readings. However, the alpha and the theta readings are much higher also, so the ratio doesn't really change. For Beth, I notice a similar thing, that all of her readings are much higher than they are when she isn't playing music. But her readings are really, really high. They're all much higher than mine. Her high beta readings are high, but her alpha readings are like double what her high beta readings are, and her theta readings are between 20,000 and 40,000 a lot of the time. Just really high theta readings. So just like with me, Beth predominantly has theta and alpha readings while playing music, and both of us really do have significantly higher readings all across the frequency bands when we're playing music as compared to when we're not. Now Beth doesn't appear to be predominantly right-brained as she's playing the drums. Now to explain this though, I found a quote from Dana.org and I'll leave a link in the description for that. There it says, The ability to produce and respond to music is conventionally ascribed to the right side of the brain. But processing such musical elements as pitch, tempo, and melody engages a number of areas, which includes some on the left hemisphere, which appears to subserve perception of rhythm. And so I thought it was so interesting that Beth is playing the drums, which is all about rhythm. And really, this reference mentioned sense of rhythm coming from the left side, so that could be why we're really not seeing too much of a difference. She's still seeing a lot of activity there on that left side of the brain. Now, I'm going to come out with another video where I show our readings when we're not playing music so that you can see the difference if you're interested. And in that video, we'll be comparing the readings from immediately following playing music as compared to our readings on a day when we haven't played music at all. And I'll also be going over in that video the technical use of the Insight headset and update about that. And I've also released a video where you can just watch us play and watch the brainwaves without listening to me talking. But if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a thumbs up. Check out our other videos. I recently uploaded a video called Solution for Anxiety Mysteriously Stops Being Produced. I hope you get a chance to check that one out. But subscribe to our channel so that you can be notified when Beth and I come out with health and wellness content. And thanks for watching.